day seven in the harbour. Look at that ship. What? Is that big? Can't fit into the camera. Uh, so we are doing the World War II stuff today. So we shall show you as we go. How it's it cold. Is. This is well. I think it was freezing. Oh, that's what can I say? It is freezing. It feels like it's going to snow. <laughs> George always sweating, so don't take it from him. See you later. So we are back on the ship. Warm with tea. Yes. That was hands down like the best tour. That was good. I've ever done. Yeah. Um, we would have recorded more, but it was a lot of stuff it's a on bit the coach. as well. Yeah. Recording in cemeteries and things is a bit morbid. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the guy who did the tour, he was so non knowledgeable. He was really good. We spent a lot of time on the coach. Like the most most of the tour really was on the coach mm. um and we got out with three stops three stops yeah three stops so the first one was the cemetery second one was the museum uh pegasus bridge and the third one was gold beach but we only stopped for half an hour the first one about 20 minutes the second one and then an hour. hour for gold beach and then the rest of the time uh we were on the coach so what time did we leave? We left about 10am and we got back here quarter uh, about quarter to five. Ten so it's a long day. Um, <clears throat> but whilst you're on the coach, um, the tour guide talks to you about World War II and stuff like that. And it was so good. Yeah, talking about D-Day and everything and Normandy and the Gold Beach and what happened. And like, I didn't realise, he also was like spitting facts about how many deaths were in World War mm. Two. Over 62 million people from all of the countries mm. died. Fact of the day. That is the fact of the day. That blew my mind, yeah. that number. 62 mm. million people died during World War II. That's insane. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of, we went down to the beach, which was very, um, quite humbling. And eerie at the same time, knowing mm. that soldiers were there. Yeah. And there was like roses in the sea. Yeah, that was sad to see. Because mm. people are still leaving roses and things for soldiers. And they had bunkers as well, didn't they? Behind they the bunkers, beach in yeah. the grass, what in they called the dunes. dunes. Yeah. Um, they've got bunkers and stuff still there. And the pillars for to build the artificial harbour. Mm. Yeah, they're still really standing and they're only meant to and another fact they're only meant to last six months and they're still standing eight years 80 years 80 years later they're still Nearly standing 80 years. yeah i don't think it's quite 80 though is no. it yeah yeah all in all 
all, it was a great day. A brilliant day. Very nice day. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have some dinner later, but we've got pack. We've got pack because it's our last day. We disembark tomorrow morning, nice and early, half past eight. Because so you've got an option, um, you can either go with everyone else or... So if you go with everyone else, you have to pack your bag and put it outside your cabin by before, half eleven. The night before. With luggage tonight. tags. Um, but if you, it's called self-assist, so if you're happy to take your own um, suitcases and stuff down, then you can, and it means yeah. you can leave the ship earlier. So we've opted for that because... I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Just, yeah. They've done enough here, and I just... We just kind of want to get back now yeah. and get little baby Isaac because we miss him. We're going to get baby Isaac. He yeah. was missed a lot this week. Yeah. Um, but all in all, if we can do this cruise, mm -hmm. I'd recommend it 1000%. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's been very, very good. Created so many memories. Mm. Memories. Memories. Because it's our first like proper holiday Yeah. together. Um, we've been to Poland before, but that wasn't really a holiday. No. Um, that was for the surgery. Yeah. <clears throat> but this was just... Yeah. It was good. Excursions-wise, I don't think you have to do the excursions, unless you really want, like, the World War II thing, like, you couldn't do that on your own, because um, it's so far away. Mm. Um, well, I suppose you could if, if there's a way to get there. But they do free shuttle buses at every port which I didn't know because I was panicking wasn't I before yeah. we went I was like we're gonna have to book excursions because how are we gonna get off the port <laughs> so I was panicking like a stupid person thinking we weren't gonna be able to get anywhere like they would like, like they would do that to anybody anyway but there's a free mm. shuttle bus that goes into the local towns at every port um so you don't have to pay for excursions you can get off and go at your own pace jump on the shuttle bus straight into the, the nearest little town um, and the shuttle bun buses run really regular as well throughout the day. As long as you're back on the boat before it leaves, you'll be all right. Um, so don't panic if you don't want to or you can't afford excursions and things like that. I think I just went overboard and panicked. The World War II one was well worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, I feel like... And Bruges. Bruges was good as well. We never got to see enough as well. And he, even he said, even if he was here a week, you wouldn't yeah. be able to go through everything that's yeah. here that's here the history here is ridiculous there's a lot yeah um but yeah bruges was i'd recommend that as well that the guided tour mm. just just because i've never been to any of these places before so i kind of want to get the knowledge and yeah it was good wasn't it mm. yeah but yeah that's um... so then weird christmas markets i wouldn't bother amsterdam if you want to go to amsterdam like I said, I'm glad I did it. Mm. I've got to say I've been to Amsterdam now. But next time, I'm going to get the little shuttle bus to Zeebrugge or... No, Rotterdam. Rotterdam. I don't know where I'm thinking anymore. Yeah. Rotterdam. Because that was only up the road. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Next stop, I think we might do a Caribbean cruise. Somewhere hot, because you've been freezing, bless her. I've been cold. I do like the cold, but I like the cold as long as I can stay warm in the cold. <laughs> See, I've loved life today. I've literally worn this and my joggers. Mm. You've had that on your gilet. I've had puffy. layers. Like, I've got my polar neck. I've got this fleecy jumper on. I've had my gilet. And I've had my puffer coat, my long one, and my hat. And I've been warm. <laughs> and I've literally worn this right. and my hat. Mm. Just because my ears and my back of my neck. But... Yeah, but I get cold really quickly, so... I've got no meat on my bones, you see, to keep me warm. I've got no insulation in my body. <laughs> but to be fair, weather-wise, we've had no rain since we went to no. our, any of our excursions. Because we no checked rain. the weather, didn't we, before we went? And it said it was going to be cloudy and miserable pretty much all week. And we've had really good weather. Apart mm. from being cold, it's been really nice. There's been it's no warmed, rain. It's warmed up throughout the day, though. Yeah. Amsterdam was lovely. It was mm. really sunny and warm. Not warm, but warmer. I wasn't cold. But then leaving in France this morning, it was foggy as It was anything. foggy. You couldn't even gray. see. But then throughout the day, it's brightened up and it's been beautiful. Yeah. We've had some good luck, haven't we, this week with mm. weather? Well, even the weather, because you checked for today, didn't you? And it said thunderstorms. Nothing. Don't know where the thunderstorms went, but it wasn't. No. It wasn't at us, thankfully. Um, yeah. All in all, we've had a great day.